What's up everyone? Welcome to my second tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. And in this tutorial we are going to be going over how to move clips on a timeline. And we're actually going to start making our movie and actually adding a title to it. So let's get started. Um, in the last tutorial we learned how to uh, capture video. So now we have a bunch of clips right under our project panel but they're not actually part of a movie yet anything that we want to make in our movie goes down here on the timeline and if any time I'm talking about these panels timeline or project or program and you can't see them all you need to do is go to window and make sure there's a checkbox by them a checkbox means they're on the screen and uh, if they're not checked then they're not showing up so as you can see our project panel is checked and that's why we can see the project panel right here. So go ahead up to your project panel and look at the first clip that you want to use on your movie. And go ahead and select from the tool list the selection tool or you can press V. That's what that little uh, V in parentheses means. If you're on another tool and you want to use that just click V and see it automatically moves that so go ahead and click your selection tool and go up to the first clip that you want to use and don't click it click it and hold it and this is also known as dragging it down into video one now as you can see it also moves the audio along with it and if you don't want the audio to move along with it then uh, I'll show you how to uh, get rid of that later but for now we do so uh, we'll just keep it how it is and as you can see under the program um, this little video pops up and this video right here is the frame that you're working on it was blank before this program right here is pretty much your movie whatever is in here that's pretty much what your movie is and since we had a bunch of clips but nothing before and nothing showed up but since we have a clip now we are actually making a movie. So let's go ahead and play this and see what our movie is. Just a uh, video of Corey doing a little robot there. And uh, it's going to go through this whole timeline and play until it comes to the end of our movie and then it's going to stop. Now before we get started and make some more stuff, let's uh, get familiar with uh, uh, the definitions or whatever you might call it in your timeline the lingo right here this little 815 this is the current time of your movie what this means it's eight seconds and fifteen hundredths of a second into your movie now if you want to change that then you want to go over here this little blue uh, little pointer with the red line sticking down is called your current time indicator this moves to different points in your movie like if you see right now uh, Corey's kind of grabbing his heart and if you move it a little over here then you see uh, a picture of us in the car but let's go to the very beginning and this will take us and wherever this is um, is where you can like edit your movie and stuff so since we want to start from the beginning let's just go right to beginning right here these little triangles next to video 1 video 2 video 3 these little triangles pointing down or right or expand or collapse a track now if you see this track right here in your and you already edit it and you don't want to work on it anymore or you don't want to look at it because it's taking up space just click on that little arrow and it'll collapse it and what this says is alright we can't edit this or work on it anymore or we don't want to see all the details with it but if you do want to see all the details with it then just click it so it points down and now you can see all the details see right now we're not working on anything in video too so let's go ahead and click that as you can see it gives us a little more space to work with now right down here is something called the zoom and what this does is allow you to look at more or less of your timeline as you can see right now um, our timeline is about seven and a half minutes long but say we want to zoom in on a very, uh, like from 0 to 30 seconds. And we want 
this whole timeline be very precise in uh, 0 to 30 seconds. All we would have to do is either click this button right here, which is zoom in. And as you can see, my timeline changes from 1 minute, or we can zoom in more, to 14 seconds. Zoom in even more, 3 seconds. And it can zoom in real far. And this is, of course, if you didn't figure out, zoom out. Let's zoom out all the way. As you can see, my timeline is now 13 minutes long. So if you want to work with long clips, I mean long clips, then you want to be uh, all the way zoomed out. But if you're working on a very small clip that's only a few seconds, you probably want to zoom in. And this uh, zoom slider here, I don't know why they added this. It's pretty much just to uh, be more precise. I guess if uh, you don't have enough energy to click the button, then uh, you can be lazy and just slide it. So it's really just an extra feature Adobe added just because I guess they had a lot of time on their hands. But uh, that's pretty much the whole timeline. And um, these buttons right here, this one right here is set display angle. And this one right here is show keyframes. Don't even touch these because they're just going to make things way more complicated. Usually no one ever touches these, but uh, they had to add them just because they could and just because someone complained probably before. But leave these just how they are. Uh, let me just show you what show keyframe does. Actually, I'm not even going to show you what it does because it would just annoy me. But uh, anyways, right there is uh, your basics of your timeline. That's all you need to know for now, and that's all we're going to be working with. So... Study your timeline, uh, practice zooming in, zooming out, zooming in, and zooming out, and uh, try to uh, try to move some clips down to your timeline like we did right here, and once you get familiar with that, then you can move on to my next tutorial where we will be working with a title, but thank you very much for watching, and make sure you subscribe to my channel to get updates on the latest videos. Thanks.